Hey everyone, welcome to our video on features and pages. This video will provide you with a quick introduction into tagging these items with Impendo so you can start reviewing and analyzing your data today. With that, let's get started. Tagging pages can be done one of two ways. You can tag pages through your list of untagged URLs or through your in-app designer. Today we're going to review our untagged URLs tab and tag pages through there. This list contains any URLs that we have received an event from but have not yet been tagged. This is a great way to find some of your top pages that have not yet been tagged. Let's tag this top URL. For this example, we are going to name the page and use a suggested match which includes a wildcard for the first half of the URL. We will not be covering customization of URL rules in this discussion, but please feel free to check the link below for a more detailed explanation from our support page. It's important to know that the rule can also be referred to as the filter. We will use these rules to run against all of your events collected since the installation of Pendo within your product. You will need to set a rule or rules for each page and feature. Let's go to features. Here let's click on Manage Features in-app. This will bring you into our in-app designer. Here you will be able to tag features. You can also name and tag pages in this designer as well. If you're tagging a feature on an unnamed page, it's going to also force you to name that page. Click here to tag a feature. You notice that it will highlight objects as you hover over various features on your site. Let's select this one. First we'll name it. Next up, we need to look at location. If you're looking to tag an activity of a feature within a specific page, you'll want to leave it page specific. If you're looking to tag something that can be seen on multiple pages, such as the feature we are selecting from the menu bar above, you'll want to choose site-wide to capture all activity. Again, this is setting the filter we will use in collecting your data. With features, Pendo will count the number of user events that exist based on the page and element rules which we set. When tagging a feature, you're setting the rules in which we will use to filter all of your data since installation of the Pendo snippet. Suggested Match will normally provide you with exactly what you need. If we move over one, you can also select by parent. As you can see, as we move down the list of parents, we are moving farther out on the object. The goal is to be specific with your tagging. You would not want to tag this parent list as it's broad and can capture more than you want. Moving over to custom CSS. On a rare occasion, you will need to customize the CSS rule. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, click on the link below to jump over to our support page where we can spend a little more time walking you through this topic. Now that pages and features have been tagged, we are able to view information on a tagged page or feature. In pages, you can filter by segment and date at the top of the page. Additionally, you can adjust the name, color, and role. Down here, you can see visitors, accounts, and average time. The graph is customizable by page views, accounts, and visitors. Additionally, top visitors and top accounts are listed further down, as well as any guides or features that might be attached to this page. In feature details, you'll see this is very similar. You can make changes to the name, color coding, and role, you have the same data metrics as for features, as well as a list of top visitors and top accounts. Now it's time to try it out for yourself. Please check out our support page at support.pendo.io for answers to frequently asked questions, as well as additional short videos such as this that review various topics within Pendo. Good luck and happy tagging!